Jenna. I'm Coach Amy. I'm Coach Kelly. And I'm Coach Michelle. And we're going to help you to learn your routine for FBGC's Light It Up event. We hope that you can come. It'll be so much fun. We have a routine for you to learn. You can copy along with us doing the routine, or you can make up your own routine. You can add some extra skills to the basic routine or just follow along with us. Whatever you choose, we hope you enjoy practicing and performing your routine. You can do this routine in any space you have, whether it's a small space or a large space. Just ensure that you have a soft mat to use and enough space that you're not going to run into anything. So if you do run out of space in your routine, what you can do is take some backward steps or just turn around and continue with the routine. We have some choreography for you to use as well. So you can choose one of two options or again, you can make up your own dance moves. We look forward to seeing your routines on Saturday, November 7, 2020. Now let's get warmed up with the game. All right, for our warm up game today, we are playing Captain's Coming. All right, so it's similar to Ship Shark Shore that we play at the gym. All right, so this version would be something that we can do at home. So I will be the captain for you today. And uh, today I'm using my mat. So I've got my purple mat. So that's gonna be in the shape of my ship. If you don't have a mat, you're more than welcome to use a towel. So you can put a towel there and you can use that. All right, so that's as your ship. So let's go through our commands. All right, so try and see if you can remember them. So the first one we've got is our stern. Our stern is we're gonna move all the way to the back of our ship. Port is over to the left side of the ship. Our starboard is over to the right side of our ship. All right, jellyfish, we're gonna sit down in our tuck sit. You get your feet up, hands out, and we're shaking them. All right, try and stay nice and tight in your tuck sit when we do that. We've got a good one. Here's our captain's coming. So it's standing nice and tall. Hand over onto your head and you say, aye aye, captain. Then we've got climb the rope. So we're gonna pretend we're climbing the rope. We've got scrub the deck. So we're gonna go into our front support. All right, keeping your shape. We move our hands to scrub the deck. You can even try and use the other hand. And then we've got man overboard. We're gonna have our hands up and we're going to jump and say, help. Let's see if we remember that. So we've got stern. So moving to the back of the ship. We've got port, moving to the left side of the ship. We've got starboard, moving over to the right. We've got jellyfish. We've got captains coming. Aye aye, captain. we got climb the rope. We've got scrub the deck. And the other side. And then we've got man overboard. Help! All right. So we've got starboard. Good, we've got ports. We've got climb the rope. We've got scrub the deck. We've got captain scubbing. Aye, aye, captain. Stern. Starboard. Port. Starboard. Port. Starboard. Port. Starboard. Stern. Captain's coming. Aye, aye, Captain. Jellyfish. Captain's coming. Aye, aye, Captain. Stern. Port. Starboard. Port. Starboard. Climb the rope. Port. Starboard, stern, port, jellyfish, captain's coming, aye, captain, 
back. Man overboard. Help. Jellyfish. Climb the rope. Man overboard. Help. Scrub the deck. Hi everybody, my name's Amy and I'm just going to take you through some stretches to get ready for our routines. So we're going to start at the top of our bodies with our head and we're just going to reach our ear as close to our shoulder as we can get. And then swapping to the other side and reaching our chin to our chest and stretching our heads behind us. Let's do a few circles. And in the other direction. Very nice. Now we're just going to move on to some arm circles to help stretch out our shoulders. So rolling your arms up behind you as far as they can go. And reaching the other way. That's it. Now we're just going to stretch out our wrists, so bring your fists together and we'll do roller coaster arms. And holding our fists together and we'll shake them out. That's it, now we're just going to stand up and make a star shape. Put our hands on our hips and we're just going to do a few hip circles. That's it, and moving the other way. And once you've done those, just coming to sit back down and we'll make a straddle shape. So bring your legs out as far as you can. And you're just gonna reach your chest down towards one leg, see if you can hold onto your feet. And reaching over to the other side. So then see if you can get your chest flat along your leg as close as you can. And then stretching into the middle, see how far forward you can reach your hands. Very good. Now we're just going to bring our legs together to make a pike shape. So we're going to stretch up tall in our L sit and reach for our toes. And once you've done that, we're just going to stretch out our ankles. So taking a few circles in each direction. And then see if you can reach your toes up to the roof. And then pointing them forwards. Once you've done those ones, we're just going to come into our angry cat to stretch out our shoulders. So you want to push your shoulders as round as you can, pushing away from the floor, making it a nice round back. And then coming into happy cat, reaching your head up to the sky. And then into stretchy cat. See how far forward you can reach your hands. Once you've done all of those, I hope you're feeling nice and stretched and ready to get started on our routines. You get to showcase all of the skills that you love to practice this year. Your routine will include a static skill, a handstand skill, a turn, a roll, jumps or leaps. You can also choose if you'd like to include a skill of your choice or a wow skill. You'll also have a cartwheel and some dance moves. Your routine must not go for any longer than one minute and you can have your own choice of music. In this video, we'll break down the routine step by step. We'll put together the first half, and then the second half. After this, there'll be a routine that you can follow along with to practice. 
There'll be different options for skills shown in the corner of the screen, like this and this. I'll be sure to include a list of timestamps in the description below so you can go back to the part you like to practice more easily. You can choose to follow the dance moves that we have or make up your own. Let's learn the routine! Remembering to present before you do your routine. Down into a lunge and then speaking across like this. Very good. And after you sweep across, you're going to go into your lunge like this. Yeah, nice and tall. Um, another static pose you could do out of your, your starting pose. You could move into a split. Yeah. And then splits. And then you can do some dance to get up off the floor. Okay, so they're the first three skills. You've got your starting pose, you've got your static skill, and you have a dance on the floor to come up. Other static skills you could do here are bridge or a bridge kickover. Okay, so now I'm going to show you another option for our starting pose, static skill and our dance move. And remember, this is just one option. So if you think of any other dance moves that you'd like to do instead, that's also perfect. And we love seeing what you guys come up with. So this is just one idea. But for your starting pose, we're going to show you that starting section again. So we've got one foot on the floor in front and then our knee bent. We're reaching up to the sky and we go around in our straddle and lift our hips off the floor. Okay, so from there, what you're going to do is we're going to move into our bridge shape. And with our bridges, you can choose to either then kick over to stand up. If you're, that's only if you're feeling pretty confident with your bridge kickovers, though. And if you'd rather, you can copy me and we'll just come down carefully and then stand up. So I'll show you that. So we're coming from our dance. So our starting pose here. And then we bring our arms across the floor, reach our hips up and then go into a bridge pose. And then from here, you can either kick your leg over to stand up or we're coming down nice and carefully. And you're just gonna twist onto your knee and then stand up from there. The next skill in your routine is a handstand. So you can do whatever handstand you enjoy doing, something you've practiced this year. So you could do your regular handstand. You could tuck up to handstand. Or you could do any other handstand that you can think of, maybe a split handstand. Okay, if you want to make your handstand a wow handstand to wow the judges, what you can do is add a jump to the end. So for instance, you could go tuck up to handstand, straight jump. The next skill in our routine is a turn. Option number one, have a relevo half turn. So you want to have half half feet, stretching out your body as tall as you can, squeezing nice and tight, nice and tall into that relevo. And then we're going to turn towards our back foot like a snap. Okay, so nice and quick squeezing, snap, and flat feet. A second option for our turns is our half turn. So for these ones, what you're going to do is you're going to start in your lunge shape with one arm bent out in front. Then as you reach your arms up to your ears, you're going to bring your toe to your knee and then you're going to turn halfway. So I'll show you all together. Lunge, halfway and step together. And for our wow skill, we have a jump full turn. So reaching up nice and tall, bending down. in our 
our routine is a dance move. I'll go through it step by step with you, but first I'm just going to show you what it looks like so you get the idea. I'll just show you the arms first. One goes up and behind, and the other one goes up. Okay, so we go up and it kind of flicks at the end. So if you can do that with me, backstroke and up the top, we flick. And with our feet, we're going to do, with the arm that's moving up, we're gonna step that foot forwards. So we go up, step, flick. And then when we flick, we bend our knees as well when we step forwards. So we lift our arm first, step forwards, flick, and bend this knee in here. I'll show you from the side. See if we can do it three times together. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through our next dance move. So for this one, we're starting standing up and we're gonna go into our pivot shape. So we're gonna come onto our toes and we're gonna make our pivot shape with our hips, hands and our hips. And we're gonna twist forward. So we're gonna go up like this. So you want to be up on your toes as high as you can with your toes coming up to your knee and you want to see if you can twist your elbows to face the front. So you lift up and then when you step down you're going to twist towards the back of the room and bring your hands out in front to make a mini lunge shape like this. So I'll show you once more. So we're coming up onto our toes, we twist forwards and then we rotate to the back. So once more and around. The next skill in your routine is a roll. So you could do a forward roll or a backward roll. Okay, this is my forward roll. Making sure you have a nice round back as you roll and you have your head tucked in. Okay. Nice straight legs. And standing up. Now if you've been practicing your backward roll you could do a backward roll instead and of course remember to push with your hands really strong keeping your head tucked in and of course having a nice soft mat to do those on. jumps and leaps so you need two different jumps and they need to be connected so option one is you could do two jumps which are connected like a straight jump tuck jump what you're going to do is you're going to start reaching up nice and tall you're going to swing your arms down do a nice tall straight jump and then a tuck jump landing in motorbike option two a more advanced option would be a split jump a star jump a wolf jump a jump half turn a leap or a sizzone so I'll show you a couple of those. A split jump. Star jump. Wolf jump. The next skill in your routine is a wow skill. One wow you can do is a present. You can wow the audience with your present. You can do a round off or a limba or a walkover. If you would like to do a wow skill that we haven't mentioned, 
please email the office a video of you performing it and we'll get back to you. Alright, for the next move we're going to do, it's a locomotion movement. Alright, so you can choose to do either step kicks like me, choose another option or make up your own. So I'm going to do two step kicks. So we're going to place our arms up in present. We're going to keep our both legs super straight and we're going to point your toes. So we go up, down. I can also show it from the sides. So we're going to go up into our present. Keep both legs super straight, pointed toes. Another option for our dance move is doing chasse. So for these ones, there's two options. You can either do forward sachets or side sachets. So I'll show you forwards first. You're going to start with one leg out in front and you're going to kick your heels together to land back on the floor. So together and land. If you want to do sideways, you can either do it with your hands by your side and kick your feet together again. Or you can also add arms. So your arms are going to come into your chest and then back out. We start out, in and out. The next skill, skill number 11, is a cartwheel. So option number one is a star cartwheel. Starting in a star shape. Finishing in a star shape. Instead of your star cartwheel, you might rather do a forward entry cartwheel. So for these ones, we're going to start standing up nice and tall. Reaching our arms up, making a nice lunge shape. Reach down to the floor, kick our legs around, and finish in a lunge shape. The wow option for your cartwheel skill is a cartwheel snap to jump. So cartwheel, and then you want to add a jump at the end. So forward facing cartwheel. The next skill that you have is an acro dance. So there's two options for this one. One is the lunge to cartwheel to lunge. And then the other one I'm going to show you is a shoulder roll. So we go up and over our shoulder onto our knees. Okay, so now a second option for our acro dance skill is going to be a cartwheel from our knee to land back on our knee. So we're going to start reaching up nice and tall in our kneeling shape. We're going to bring our hands to the floor, kick around to land back on our knee. <laughs> So now we can choose an end pose for the end of our routine. You can either do one that I'm doing right now, or a, you can choose another option um, that will be shown by another coach, or you can choose your own. All right, so the one I'm going to show you is we're going to have toes facing the same way, one foot forward. So the front, the front leg is bent, the back leg is nice and straight. The foot that is forward, that arm is going up straight into the air, nice and straight. The other arm with the back is going nice and straight, horizontal, and we're going to look at the horizontal one. Okay, so another option for our finishing pose, we're going to lift our leg up to make a pivot shape. And we're going to bring one hand up nice and tall and the other a little bit lower. And we're going to look towards our lower hand. So you're going to see if you can balance like this.
Thanks for watching and we hope you have had fun uh, following along and learning your routine. We look forward to seeing it in a few weeks. Uh, remember if you would like to perform a skill that we haven't included here today, email the club. Details are coming up soon and we look forward to seeing you back in the gym.